Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Here's Jane Lewis. Cameraman Alan, just to give you a quick tour round, shall we? That's the aquatic centre where the likes of Robbie Rennick and Hannah Miley uh, will be swimming. That's where you'll find all the spectators doing the games, enjoying the, the sunshine and the games as well. That's the tennis court where we'll see Andy Murray. I don't really think we'll know whether those issues have been resolved, have been rectified until the games get underway. When is that? Well, Friday marks the opening ceremony of the Rio Olympics, and then Saturday, the next day, day one of the action. You said you were nervous. I wonder how Mum Mary was feeling. <laughs> Oh, Mum Mary would quite happily have put her head under the pillow and not got up. <laughs> this is the Athletes' Village, home to all those who've been competing here at the Rio Olympics and also home to those who've been winning medals, just like this one here, Olympic bronze medal for Sally Conway. Sally, many congratulations. A few days Thank for it to you. sink in now. In an interview with BBC Scotland, another young Scottish player claims not, saying other players are using banned substances. How widespread would, would you say it is in the, the lower leagues of Scottish rugby? Lower leagues, I would say roughly two people per team maybe are on something. His future, where, where do we stand? He's got a very him? positive good future. In terms of the, any new contract, an extension oh. of a contract? There's no doubt about you getting your contract. How about Jane Lewis? You did the story there. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> else is trying. And I'll be grabbing them as they come out of the water here at the finish line. Now, every one of the 3,000 swimmers each have their very own special reasons for swimming here today. And Jane is out with one of them just now. Well, Wendy, you're part of Lauren's Warriors. Explain why you're putting yourself through this. Well, so, I'm doing this today for my wee girl, Lauren. Did that affect you at all? One of them two seemed, seemed a little bit controversial. Uh, it cost me a bronze. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, look, you can see the replay up there. And uh, it could have gone either way. There are some very close calls and they happen to go to him. So how do you handle that on the final day? And look who's joined us, only the man himself. Commonwealth Games reporter Jane Lewis is there for us tonight, Jane. Well, Jackie, a brilliant and a historic moment took place behind me here at the Hydro earlier today. You might be wondering what all the fuss is about. It doesn't look that out of the ordinary until you see below. So the surface that I was standing on has been raised almost two metres, supported by a forest of these steel columns. Yes, Laura Muir of Scotland through to the final of the 1500 metres here tomorrow. There was also success for Scotland's Libby Clegg. You're nice and dry in the boat, I'm in the water. You're the expert, you fancy giving me some tips? Absolutely. Good stuff. So if you want to do a couple of Celtic Chief Executive Peter Law will insist this is not a make or break season for manager Neil Lennon. That despite Lennon saying he felt he'd have to win the SPL title this season if he was to keep his job. They'll be relaxing in their hotel in Jerez. It's all about being focused now for the big game and what a job Martin O'Neill has to do. This is where he earns his wages. Scottish athletes winning 13 medals out here in Rio. That equals their best ever Olympics as well. So, as the Maracanã warms up for tonight's finale, we'll soon be saying bye-bye to the Olympics in Rio. And what a fantastic achievement as she wins her sixth Scottish championship title. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage. And, of course, tomorrow night we'll bring you all the action from the men's final.